so yeah welcome back doing a bit of an update with bench here on his smugglers cove uh, i've just checked out the progress <gasps> and i had a few problems i had to change my lighting there i had to try and turn it down because my lighting steps were causing it to uh, take a while but that's my computer so it's only a 64 which isn't the best and it does look a lot better than this with 128 but I didn't come here to show you how awesome the lighting was. I came here to show you the new stuff. So we're going to go up and have a look at this. Is there anything in particular that you'd like me to spend time on? Looking uh, at? There's, there's. Uh, if you look right around near where the numbers are on either side, where the entrance to the main hangars are, you'll see this big red sort of exhaust. That whole thing is this massive fusion reactor that's like detailed inside and out. Oh wow. It's uh, quite elaborate. Um, there's parts of it that you can't even see unless you go into build mode and fly through it, which is crazy just trying to, trying to do all those sorts of details and stuff. But I wanted to build it as a very functional station where it's like if you've got power being generated, it actually has something generating the power and so that's what we have there. Wow. I'm looking at that generator now. Yeah, it's nice. Let's have a look. Inside. It's a monster. It is, yeah, it's another monster. In we go. Ooh, getting a bit of half life from this one. <laughs> I just want to touch it. <laughs> Can you lick it? <laughs> I wanna poke it. <laughs> I'm gonna poke the what happens if I poke it? <laughs> wow. And then it turns into a power line. Yay! Do you know what? I like that, that's nice. And where's it going? It's going back to some kind of evil capacitor junction. Yeah, so it goes and links up to the one on the other side at the moment and then I'll probably link it up to some other but the the gravity lifts between the different decks of the station kind of get in the way. I've been working um, on that. I've got this manufacturing floor as well on the similar level. You've got um, entrances and stuff and on it as roads. Well. Yeah, I like the little boxes and stuff and all the little machinery you've got down in the pit. Mm. Between, I think, what is a railway, maybe, and a road? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. So... The idea here is with the copy paste you can build like sections. I, um, I like the diagonal as blocks well. as well. The, the diagonal blocks. That's fresh. <laughs> you you built oh. blocks and they're obviously wedges, aren't they? But yeah, you can't see. They look like they just look like um, cases that are just diagonally placed. That's all. That's what they look like. It's cool. Feels like the level, well, a uh, base off of a first-person shooter, like oh, an old-school Oh, you could totally, you yeah, totally we, fight in there. Well, we, yeah, that's the thing. It'll happen. <laughs> it'll, it'll happen, it's, it's, man. It's like it's like the uh, level design, the level designs from uh, Doom. Doom. If I could get into a more enclosed a area, I would agree with you. I can't. I haven't seen that area yet. But this, this whole thing of getting definitely getting a half-life vibe which is fps yeah i think I'd i haven't seen any half-life perhaps mixed with I, dead space i think i agree but only i can't see the tight corridor areas yet where are we yeah it's pretty open it's just got that size that it can be open uh... And you've got the entranceways in through to those areas from outside. So this will be an enclosed area. But like those industrial fans again uh, for the entranceways and control rooms that can control people arriving and there. And then above that section again, you've got all the landing pads that are external that have all the lights hooked up. So all the lighting changes according to docking and. There's all conduits for logic to run around so that from uh, the control room, which will be on the very top of the station, you'll be able to see who's docked where and who's mm. area, and you'll be able to see everything. So there's a lot of random conduits and stuff, um, pipes going around just so that 
is a bit more feasible to run and there's some, uh, some airlocks to go into those areas with like relative um, gravity so you don't fall down anywhere stupid and die. Hmm. I love the staircases coming off the platforms as well. Fresh. So they're coming in over the fusion reactor. Got some pathways. Some paths which go out from above the reactor that'll go out to the actual landing pad and then there's one which is run for the actual um, logic. Mm. Do you have anything logical on here other than lighting? Um, yeah, the gravity lifts between this manufacturing floor and the um, main hangar is done now, so you can give, give that a go. Uh, mm. Fun to do. But any, um, so any, it, you got any trick horses in here yet? Not yet, you know? not yet. I mean, it's mostly yeah. lighting and then those gravity lifts, but these ones kind of, they trigger the gravity, they'll trigger the doors at the right time so you fall through. There's area triggers to open the doors relative as well, so these gravity lifts can have people running in both directions at the same time fairly comfortably as well, which is great. Hmm. Whoa. Whoa. What the? It was Asmos. Oh, someone bumped my core. I was like, suddenly I'm moving. What? <laughs> uh, but I'm in build mode. I was like, you bumped me, but you're a station. <laughs> it's very confused for me there. <laughs> so I'm going to fly around in core form and get some... Because my frame rate's so being stuck. There's a random block here. Oh, there's always random blocks somewhere. True. Otherwise, how would we use them? Right. Well, that's awesome. So, uh, what's next for the station then? Is it going to go upwards? Yeah, yeah. It'll, it'll go up, it'll, and then I'll do the bottom section. What's going to be in top? Uh, top will be living spaces. Um, it'll be areas that people themselves can kind of hang out with. Um, now that the copy paste logic bug, uh, I think it was bug 515, got fixed, means that uh, you can copy and paste logic circuits, which is good because I've got the combo lock circuit already done, ready, so there's space underneath the main hand. Oh, that, that is clever, yeah, that's useful. Um, so I'll be able to copy that and use <coughs> it because it's going to be used uh, quite a bit on this station.